Hello again, and welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day, and thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name's Hello Good Game, and I'm pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video, showcasing a new standard best of one mythic rank deck every single day. On the menu, we have Is It Aggro? Breaking down the deck list in depth, discussing both the strategies and synergies, giving you a deeper understanding of how to pilot the deck effectively and efficiently. Furthermore, we'll demonstrate all of this against the best decks as well as players in game right now within that mythic ranked gameplay footage. Wrapping up with our closing thoughts, deck review, and channel news. If you want to help out, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, become a community member within our Discord. Links in the description below. We're happy to help you within the Discord um, fine tune your deck and, um, you know, just talk about uh, whatever it is that you may need help with. Cheers. Thanks again for watching and let's take a look at the deck. It's a new lap record. Is it aggro? Well, it's trying to be. This is a red and blue uh, aggro deck with a 2.3 average mana value curve supported by 24 land. And, uh, you know, we do have only 16 creatures in the build, so it's a little bit light in that aspect. Um, so value your creatures, but we do have a lot of non-creature value within the build that we're going to go over with you today. Uh, 20 of those, and, uh, you know, why don't we just start with our Planeswalkers that we will be building towards within the build. Tezzeret Betrayer Flush for four, four starting loyalty. And the first activated ability of artifacts uh, you control with an activated ability uh, will cost two less. Now, in this instance, it will be the uh, incubate tokens for two mana, which now for the first time each turn, your turn, your opponent's turn, is reduced to zero, allowing you to flood the field uh, with these tokens, which is quite fantastic with Tezzeret. And then plus one, drawing two cards, and then discard two cards, unless you discard an artifact card. Um, you know, we don't really have any artifacts to be discarding other than the subterranean schooner. So keep note in this, it, just cycling through your deck. Sometimes good, right? Sometimes you have lands uh, in hand and you can keep the non-lands while discarding the lands, um, but still cycling through your deck by two cards, which is quite nice. Minus four, target artifact becomes an artifact creature. If it's not a vehicle, it's base tower Power and toughness will be changed to 4-4. Four, four. Uh, if it is a vehicle, again, note on the schooner, uh, it will remain its original base power and toughness, in this case, 3-4. And then minus 6, you get an emblem with whenever an artifact you control becomes tapped. Draw a card. Okay, So we do have a, a lot of artifacts in build, even though we don't have any artifact cards, not only through the Chrome Host she Seed Shark Incubate Tokens, but the Third Path Iconoclast Tokens as well is they are uh, creatures that are artifacts. So that's quite nice. Um, then into Sahili, Filigree Master for four. It's a three loyalty Planeswalker plus one. Scry one, tap an untapped artifact you control to draw a card, right? So this is really easy. We have plenty of artifacts in build to tap, uh, both creatures and non-creatures, uh, to draw that card and Scry, which is quite nice. Minus two, creating two one one Thopters. Uh, they will uh, have haste as well. And minus four, you get an emblem with artifact creatures you control. You get plus one, plus one. And artifact spells will uh, cost one less to cast, which is fine. Um, typically, we are here for the draw that repeats turn after turn with the plus one. But we also like the minus two to create a couple artifacts for ourselves as well. Uh, these artifacts have flying, which is great. Um, so with Tezzeret's minus two, these Thopters can become 4-4s. Four we can also glyph the Thopters, having them become 5-4s with flying. When the glyph is sent to the graveyard, discover 3. It enchants any artifact, so um, whether or not that artifact is a creature or not doesn't matter. It will become one after. But always nice to uh, hit one of the Thopters that has flying, right? So you have that nice evasion there. Removal within the deck through the Frenzy. 5 damage to creature, reducing its casting cost by 1 for each attacking creature, right, at instant speed. So 1 mana, potentially. The Surge coming in at 1 mana as well. 2 damage to creature or Planeswalker. If you sacrifice an artifact, 
four damage instead, which is quite nice, as well as three copies of our Disruption Protocol for two mana, instant speed, uh, three mana, unless you can tap an artifact, which is fine. Uh, you know, we do have plenty of those. So like I said, it's the Chrome Host that makes the Incubate tokens when you cast non-creatures. It's the third path that creates uh, the Artifact Soldiers that uh, whenever you cast a non-creature as well, right? So that's fantastic. Um, a really nice non-creature will be the Subterranean Schooner, triggering them both. A 3-4 Crew 1 vehicle when it attacks, explore on target creature that crewed it this turn. Very nice. And then, you know, just general artifact uh, within the Spyglass Siren and the Voldaren Epicure, both for one mana, both 1-1. One, one. The Siren has flying and creates a map. The Epicure deals one damage when it enters and creates a blood token. These tokens can be interacted with themselves. The blood token to cycle, map token to explore. Um, Tezzeret can minus two on them. The Glyph can interact with them as well. So very good value there, as well as being sacrificed with the Surge and tapped with the Disruption Protocol. So very nice synergy here. We have the Spire within our land base as a creature, and then the Defiance and City as utility lands alongside the Reef and Coast for consistency, right? A couple basics to get us through to the end of the match. That is Is It Aggro? Really uh, a fun, low-to-the-ground deck. Uh, like I said, a 2.3 average mana value, so it uh, flows quite nicely. There's typically not something in-game that you can't cast. Um, and, you know, we have all the interaction we'd want. We have removal, we have counter magic, we have field pressure, uh, both creature and non-creature, trying to avoid um, some lost value to potential field waves that we weren't able to counter, right? Cheers! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord, and we can help you out uh, with your own personal deck, all right? Let's play some games. Nice land, and, uh, well, fairly aggressive start. I say Siren first, and then we can there Siren second with the Epicure on two. Or else we're going to get stuck in this weird path, which I think is also fine. Let's just 2 3. Curving out is like, that's fine. Because obviously, you know, 3 drops going to be inherently better than these 1 drops. And they're nice to keep in hand as they fit in our curve, you know, for to find a 2 drop or, you know, later on a 4 drop. Or get this land in tapped, right? So. I think that is acceptable. Yeah. We need to third path this to pull the braid and net we don't maybe one siren should have stayed in hand that's fine I'm surprised they're not they're just going to take one down well that's not bad either I guess certainly is acceptable they tap our blocker which I don't find relevant here. Could be. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to play into a field wipe that aggressively. There's so many creatures out, though, that they would also wipe. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I'm 
We're not attacking. This is as irrelevant later as it is now. <laughs> so let's just play it. No attack. Probably just get that second spire in next. Tapping our shark, which is fine. Oh, and dunking with the blades. Okay, that's actually a nice synergy. Similar to Teferi and the Wandering Emperor. But instead of in Planeswalker form, it's artifact form. Let's drop this first. And just take a draw. Please don't craft. The crafts will have summoning sickness. We have blockers on the flyer and on the blocker. Just keep this in hand. It's not doing anything if it enters play. Keep the land still in hand so we can cycle the, another land away, I think. That's going to be our, our better play. And just trying it to get caught in our own deck. Right? They have good lands. They have good artifacts. The spider can just draw, right? So. Ooh. I caramba. That's a big boy. Great. That's fantastic. Um, fine. I don't care. I don't mind a little competition. It's whatever. It's pretty good. I'm most worried about the land, I guess. This is going to be a big draw. So there goes our card advantage. Oh, man. She get out of here. Let's toss our land first and see what we get. We're going all in. If they field wipe, they field wipe. There's an eight eight there we have to contend with. More lands. Why Why wouldn't it be? You know? <laughs> lands and one drops, bro. <laughs> you wanted a quick deck? This is what you get in the mid game. Uh, uh. I could certainly use some of these white artifacts, I feel like. Don't you. It's such a big draw, bro. I'm going to be sick. The braided net is so good. <sighs> yeah, I understand. Ah, uh, not great for us. Maybe something we should think about playing. We have so many just regular creatures, though, right? We only have two artifacts in play, so. 
Not as good. Another land off the top. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I was wondering how I was going to win this game. Now I know how. Let's see where this grain of salt leads. It's not terrible, but it's not winning anything. We already have two out. It's uh really quite bad in fact. Taking out our shark hurt. Ooh, goodbye planeswalker. I've got some good ideas for next time. This is so bad for us. Should we just take it? I cut Ramba. This leveler is outrageous. I just made them shinier. Two beauties coming at you. Not a fan. And can't they just like tap that instant speed as well, which is gonna suck for me? Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> no attacks. I mean, the leveler, it just beats us, right? The eleven elevens just beat us. Ah. What a terrible situation. <laughs> this is still a match somehow. <laughs> right? It is pretty nice. Bro, not my draw engine. Back to the drawing board. You're such a bully. A literal bully. Can we surprise attack for 17? <laughs> not with that card. So we... Kill the spider. Well, they still have the land, right? Yeah. I guess we should just kill the spider straight up so it doesn't draw. But what would they need to draw? They have it all. Uh, another net! I 
I want to say this is a, a done match, but I'm just so stubborn. What could we draw that does anything? <laughs> Not too much. They should just swing in, right? Fine. Not impressed. Down to four, this is our last chance. Oh, Orlando, <laughs> that's the best. Good game. I liked it. I thought that was a great match. Going first. Fairly decent land. Can't complain. Path 2, Tezzeret 4, Glyph on 5. Ooh, Shark on 3. That's going to be hot. Don't you dare. Okay, they don't dare, which is great news. Down to 17. Oh, sorry, 16. We're already at 19 from Kumano. Now we pray for the shark. Mm, I will hit. I'm not going to block with it, so there you go. Nor will I block with the shark at this point in time. That 8-8 eight, eight should win us the game. Wow. I will block then. Well, not this, but... Dang, dude. Down to 12. Two tokens are great. We will minus two on the four. It's an 8-8 eight, eight now. Base power and toughness four with the four tokens from the incubate of the shark. We will need to get after it eventually, right? So let's hit for two. Glyph is down on our one one. Or shark, it's uh both are viable. Tezzer will be absolutely obliterated here, I have no doubt. Lethal in two with the 8-8. Eight, eight. They will need to chump block turn after turn. But, I mean, you know, they do have one, two, three, four, five, four in hand after the land. That's probably more than enough. Old Darren's inbound. What you got, Willis? Five damage with the Witch Tucker Frenzy? Or are you going to pump up your Godric? Both. Damage Adelphia, number one. It's not a bad hit. And the Frenzy. How does he know? Does he have the Millennium Eye? 
<laughs> I would expect now and do not care. We're still blocking a um, monstrous rage, right? On the Kimono. <gasps> I'm telling you, he does. I can see your hands before you do, Yugi. <laughs> Right? Oh no, play with fire. They're gonna win. That damage output's ridiculous though, isn't it? The glyph won't have anything. But we should still cast it. Down to one? Oh my god. Mono red, you're ridiculous. This might be just better defense. We should have maybe done this first. Keep working. The glyph is good, but we are in no position to be gambling. Removal, they win, which kind of sucks. I'm being a little bit greedy here, but we need the Flyers to stay back for Godric. Um, we need to actually force them into getting rid of that 1-1. One, one. So now they need another... Well, they don't need it now. They can take, literally take the damage, but... Uh, it was a lightning strike, not play with fire chat. You may have bested me this time, Yugi. The heart of the cards, it trumps everything. It's crazy. Our opponent will start off the match. Nice and slow like with a Sanctium of Nature into Arona. You have my attention, friend. This is interesting. Here go. Immediately with the draw discard. Okay. It's a cauldron deck. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a cauldron deck. I think. I don't know. They're going wild. Bro. Nice. Try to hold this for four, I guess, right? I'm th I'm thoroughly impressed. It's definitely just a, a cauldron deck, but they're hitting their lines flawlessly. Really, really nice, like. Bro. Bro! Take Ren. Create our artifact. My stamina will 
Mm-hmm. We have one mana up, but just your go. I'm impressed. I'm honestly impressed. They're hitting it. They are hitting it, dude. Wow. Okay. So. No cauldron yet. We're basically just waiting for it. They can do it with Elta Cauldron as well. Kind of. Just keep Shark Adelphiing. Well, we need to kill this right now. Which is a lot of my mana. Do we go all in just to reduce this? From five to three. Yes. Oh, uh, from three, uh, four, sorry. So we only need to attack with the one. Right? Cast this for three, have this for two off the new incubate. And then the shark can still defend. It's good removal before it transforms. Because they have the land. Oh, this game is hard. They're there. Well, we just simply can't allow that. Now we need three more counter spells. And, like, don't they have grave recursion too? Only if it's milled that way. Another Titania, which is ready to flip immediately. Oh my god. Bro, you deserve to be Jace milled. This is crazy. Deserve? That's strong. Bully for you. Let's make this in uh, nine, eight. We do tap out, which is sad, but whatever. Oh my god, Titania, you're ridiculous. Coming over. It does demand a block eventually. You could take it a couple times for sure, but... Sooner or later. This is whether or not we survive that long, I guess, right? Oh, Titania. You are good. Casual 13-13. No, big D's. That is a big D. Wow. Mm. 
Vigilance and Reach as well. Wow. Ooh. I wish we had, uh, you know, one more land. And we should save this to defend. Where's Vigilance when you need, right? Oh, we have to defend, but you can't really defend against this deck is the problem. Titania, you're the star of the show. You've gained about 25 life. And you've dealt all of this damage. An underrated card. Certainly so. They all have haste. That's just a good game. Usually it's always the cauldron that kills me. It is decent to see the deck evolving in such a manner that it can really just put on the gas without as well. Right? It's not just the Hellkite combo. It's also this... Fucking nightmare. Very nice. I don't remember the deck. I've not played the deck myself, but I don't remember it being that resilient. Only the one cauldron, too. That seems strange. Cool, though. I like it. I like it. I like it. Down to five. Make three tokens. Only two of which can block here. And then we get you with a trade. Chump. 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 You are just a straight up block. We take you. You're annoying. And then just one damage to three. I'm not very pleased. Oh, it's a trample damage too. I forgot about it. Dang it. I forgot about the trample. We could have lost one of our third pass. Still would have been lethal, though. No, we would have had to block the trample with an additional creature. Block Rona with a path. The 3-3 three, three blocks the trample as well. Oh, that was just my bad. What is trample? What's that keyword do? <laughs> All right, going first with, of course, bad land. But we'll fix it with a Molly. Keep six. Toss an Epicure. You are in on one. Just looking for our third land. That would be ideal. And fourth, let's be honest. Thank you. They're tapped. We can play on first main phase. If for one, down to 19. Look how good I am at this game. <laughs> you do pretty good on turn one and two. It's that five, six you struggle with. I notice HGG. Yep. Yep. Let's get after it. 
pretty aggressive hit. I do not mind. We might lose our third path to an Elspeth Smite. Oh, the Millennium Eye strikes again. You got to see it beforehand, though, is the problem, not during. It's too late at that point. Ah, what do you do? You force them to have it. The Millennium Eye thinks a joke. I can't actually see, but sometimes it feels like I can. Like, how many times can you get their playline right in a row? Bro! You're ridiculous, man! I guess let's push up all our old Darren. Not a land, believe it or not. I need to hit four. Still a pretty decent swangle. Okay, it triggers the discover. They do dodge the damage, right? Oh, shark, 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 Adelphia. <laughs> you see, not a bad trade. Obviously, interrupting the damage is best. Field wipe here? Don't you dare, but remember what today has been like. Still no land. What is the point? Slam this down, make our artifact. Attack. They are getting lower on life. Wandering Emperor, yes. Assuredly so. Right? My Millennium Eye. Could be a land up, if not, but. They think I have counter magic up? Weird. And they're like, well, I'll just take it in field wipe. Fine, now I'm not doing it. <laughs> One sunfall, please. You think you're funny? Yeah, I think that's fine. Found the land. <laughs> and another. Uh. Oh, wow. Tezzeret will die as well to the Sunfall token, which is fair and playable. I heard that Sunfall card is pretty decent. What do you guys think about it? So close. We got so close. Winning games, bro. Interesting. Like, why would you even bother? That's such a strange play line. It's not a creature land. What if I draw a creature line next turn and now you've lost your land removal? You goofball. Maybe it doesn't have a... Like, I already have basic lands out. You don't think I have more of them? It's like, I'm sick of it. Giving me the option to click, though. I'll, I got that. Okay. Don't you. Okay. I'm going to take it. You are such a dog. Imagine just always having it. What an elitist. Ah, down to two. We're at 12. There is still hope, but thin ice. They've got the blocker. They have the attacker. If there was ever a race I didn't want to be in. 
Well, we thought we had it with the second removal piece, but that negate. Uh, and land off the top. Uh. And that's Sunfall. this game they straight up have lethal close game though down to two 1800 is it aggro not aggro enough uh i think i'm did i lose every single game today you certainly did hgg you almost won a few um <laughs> You got close. <laughs> Try better tomorrow, right? Uh, hey, you know, this game is not always as easy as some of the creators make it look. We all have bad days, but by no means does that take away from the fun of the game. Uh, you know, I think it's very easy within an online environment to cultivate a negative attitude towards losing, and, you know, it's, it's ruining your day, right? Um, because when you're in person... You get to see the winner, right? And it's like, okay, my despair is met with their joy. But online, you don't really actually get to see their joy so much, and you're just left with your despair. Uh, <laughs> I think anyways, right? Um, so it's, I feel like a lot harder to have a bad attitude when you're losing a game, whether it's magic or something else, in person against an individual um, that you may know or not as opposed to an online match again magic or not um just because you don't you don't really get to see the other side of the equation it is happening and you know i think it's important that we realize that right because you can't always you know it's it's inconceivable to think you'd always be on on the one side you know we do strive to be yes of course better luck next time kid <laughs> right so don't let you know magic can be very frustrating uh, i know a lot of you see the creator videos and it's like win 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 and yes obviously it does make an more entertaining video but realize that it is here for entertainment purposes and you know sometimes i like to just you know touch base let you guys understand that this game is hard for us all right so um just take note in that focus on having fun and um play it however you want right for me typically it's creating new decks every single day testing them against the best players. You know, it's one thing to create a new deck and slay the play queue or slay the, the platinum, the queue, right? Uh, uh, ooh, I wish. But uh, to really test them against the best, that's where I love it. Because sometimes you lose, right? You're playing against the best. That is definitely to be expected, even when you are playing the best decks. But sometimes you win. And you're winning not with a competitive deck that's cemented in the meta, but something original to yourself uh, or not as, you know, uh, oversaturated. And it's just, I think, a, a more enjoyable experience that way, at least for me. So that's the rant to justify my losing streak. <laughs> I got to feel good about it some way. Is it aggro? You know, it, it, it certainly tried to be uh, a fun deck that, again, might just be for um, completing those red and the blue quests in a hurry in the play queue you i'm sure could play this deck a little bit lower in the ladder successfully as well but as far as climbing into the top 1250 or top 1800 mythic i'm not entirely certain right uh we did have a bad string of luck no doubt no doubt a couple misplays no doubt no doubt but still with that being said it seems to be needing a little bit more it feels almost too low to the ground if you don't pop off with a third path or the seed shark it really does feel like you're grasping at straws and it's like you know oh, another land or like the epicure siren even top taking that hurts a lot but uh you know it is what it is so thanks for watching i hope you have an absolute magical day We'll catch you in the next. You can like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. Like I said, join that community Discord if you want any deck building help. And we'll see you uh, later.